Well, for more, let's speak to Derek Healy. He's a journalist and joins us from Aberdeen. Derek Healy, good to speak to you. So that huge Tory surge, 13 seats gained in Scotland. Without that, Theresa May would have even less and it would have been even harder for her to try and form a government. That's very true. Um, it'll be difficult, I think, for some people in Scotland to accept from being in a position where we previously had um, one Tory MP for a, num for a number of years uh, to this new position where, effectively, the vote in Scotland has helped to prop up the Tory government at Westminster. It was exactly. Quite a surprise for the Scots to be propping up a Tory government in Westminster. Now, on the SNP side, huge losses. Of course, Angus Robertson gone. What does that tell us, do you think, about the changing mood and the changing tone of the Scottish electorate? Well, I think what's very interesting is Nicola Sturgeon today has seemingly taken independence off the, off the kind of agenda. She's put it to the back burner uh, in a speech at Butte House. Uh, the SNP, I think, will move forward trying to, uh, well, as Nicola Sturgeon put it, govern for all of Scotland um, and try and look at things like education, things like health, um, issues they've been challenged on quite significantly. Um, I don't think independence, certainly for the next few years, will be the key issue for them. OK, uh, Derek uh, Healy, we do have to leave it there. Thanks for joining us.